Ever wondered what kind of creatures roamed the Earth millions of years ago? Imagine a beast measuring 42.6 feet long, weighing over 9.7 tons. This is not a creature from a fantasy novel, but rather the formidable Tyrannosaurus rex, known as Scotty. This colossal dinosaur fossil was unearthed in the lush fields of Canada in 1991, much to the astonishment of the paleontological world. Scotty stands out not just because of its size, but also because of the storied life it lived. The fossil showed signs of several healed injuries, painting the picture of a creature that was no stranger to conflict. These marks of battle carved into the ancient bones of this dinosaur speak volumes about the violent life it led. This massive creature, Scotty, lived in Saskatchewan 66 million years ago, setting the stage for the amazing fossil finds that followed. From terrifying T-Rex, let us now take flight with a giant bird. In 2008, the quiet landscapes of New Zealand unveiled a secret from the distant past. Researchers unearthed the fossilized leg bones of a creature that defied expectations. This was no ordinary bird. In fact, it was believed to be the largest known parrot to have ever graced our planet. Its name, fittingly, is Heracles inexpectatus, derived from Greek mythology and Latin, translating to unexpected Hercules. The name is an ode to its unusual size and strength, just as Hercules was to the Greeks. This giant parrot stood three feet tall, roughly the size of a toddler, and weighed around 15 pounds, heavier than an average house cat. Its presence paints a fascinating image of the ancient ecosystems, far different from what we know today. This three feet tall bird, weighing around 15 pounds, roamed the earth 16 to 19 million years ago. Let's journey to the Baixia Cast Cave in China. Here, a remarkable discovery was made that would reshape our understanding of prehistoric human history, a Denisovan jawbone. This fossil, dating back a staggering 160,000 years, opened a fascinating window into our ancient past. The Denisovans, a subspecies of archaic humans, were previously known to have inhabited Siberia. But this jawbone expanded their known range significantly, all the way to the high altitudes of the Tibetan Plateau. This discovery also suggested that the Denisovans were adapted to high-altitude living long before the arrival of modern humans in such environments. It's like piecing together an intriguing jigsaw puzzle of our past. Each fossil find adding more depth and complexity to the panorama of human evolution. This ancient Denisovan relic takes us back to a time when our human ancestors were not alone. Imagine a creature so large, it would dwarf a modern-day elephant. In the year 2012, the Patagonian plains of Argentina bore witness to an exceptional discovery. The largest dinosaur remains ever found. The fossilized bones painted a picture of a gargantuan creature, a sauropod named Maximo. Picture this, a creature stretching over 122 feet long with an estimated weight of 70 tons. This colossal being roamed the Earth during the Mesozoic era, casting a daunting shadow over all other creatures of its time. It's easy to lose ourselves in the sheer size of Maximo, but let's not forget the importance of this discovery. It offers us invaluable insights into the Earth's past and the life that thrived during the Age of Dinosaurs. Maximo's massive stature is a testament to the incredible diversity and scale of prehistoric life. Maximo, the mighty sauropod, truly embodies the grandeur of the dinosaurs. From the land of Argentina, we now venture into the caves of Crimea. Here, in the depths of the Torida cave, a discovery of an extraordinary nature was made. Imagine a bird, a giant one, towering at 12 feet tall, classified as the Pachystruthio. This was not your everyday ostrich. Oh no! It was a superbird, a titan among the feathered kind, three times the size of an average ostrich. The enormity of this bird is simply staggering, isn't it? Now picture this. This colossal creature didn't exist in isolation. It shared its world with early humans and other large predators. It roamed Europe's landscapes, casting a long shadow under the prehistoric sun. These findings breathe life into our understanding of the past and the scale of the creatures that once inhabited our planet. It's a testament to the incredible diversity of life that once was. This bird, three times the size of an ostrich, 
lived alongside early humans and other large predators. Leaving the land behind, let's plunge into the ancient oceans of Antarctica. Picture the scene, icy waters teeming with marine life among them, a true titan of the deep, the Elasmosaurus. This marine giant was the largest of its kind ever discovered, stretching to an impressive 36 feet in length and weighing in at nearly 15 tons. Its elongated, snake-like neck allowed it to catch prey with a swift surprise attack, while its powerful paddle-like limbs propelled it through the ocean depths with ease. This behemoth enjoyed a diet of fish and other small marine creatures, making it a formidable predator in its watery domain. Imagine the spectacle of this colossal creature, its massive body silhouetted against the Antarctic ice. Despite its size and power though, the Elasmosaurus was not invincible. It lived and thrived in an era before the catastrophic event that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. This marine creature lived before the mass extinction that killed the dinosaurs. From the chilly waters of Antarctica, we now journey to the warm plains of Kenya. Here in the 1980s, a monumental discovery was made. The fossils of Simbakubwa Kutoka Africa, one of the largest carnivores to have ever roamed the earth. Its name, fittingly, translates to Big Lion from Africa, from Swahili. But this beast was no mere lion. Weighing in at a staggering 3,300 pounds, the Simbakubwa was larger than a modern polar bear, the heaviest land predator alive today. Just imagine a creature so colossal, prowling the prehistoric African plains. The discovery of the Simbakubwa Kutoka Africa not only sheds light on the scale of prehistoric life, but also underscores the rich diversity of that era. The Simbakubwa was a part of an extinct group of mammals known as hyenodonts, marking a significant chapter in the evolutionary history of mammals. The Simbakubwa Kutoka Africa, a true testament to the scale of prehistoric life. From the land-dwelling giants, we now return to the bird kingdom. Picture this. A penguin as tall as your neighbor next door. That's right, we're talking about the Crossvalia weperensis, a penguin species that stood as tall as a modern human. This remarkable discovery was made in New Zealand by an amateur scientist who stumbled upon fossilized femur bones. The size of these bones was a clear indication that this was no ordinary penguin. A little investigation and research later, it was confirmed that these bones belonged to a previously unknown species of penguin that lived millions of years ago. This human-sized penguin, Crossvalia wiperensis, is a testament to the diverse and fascinating prehistoric life that once roamed our planet. It's a stark reminder that the creatures we see today are but a fraction of the vast array of species that have existed throughout Earth's history. This human-sized penguin is a stark reminder of the diversity of prehistoric life. Finally, let's soar to the skies with a giant flying reptile. Imagine a creature soaring through the prehistoric skies of Alberta, Canada, with a wingspan reaching a staggering 32 feet. This creature isn't a bird. It's not even a dinosaur. It's an Ashdarkid, a group of flying reptiles that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. This particular species, discovered in the frozen tundras of Canada, is known as Cryodracon boreas. Now, Cryodracon boreas is a name that aptly captures the grandeur of this creature. Cryodracon, derived from the Greek words for cold and dragon, and boreas, the Greek god of the north wind. So, in essence, we're talking about a cold dragon of the north wind. A fitting name, wouldn't you agree? This flying behemoth wasn't just impressive in size. Weighing in at over 550 pounds, it was one of the largest flying animals in history. To put that into perspective, that's heavier than some species of bears. Cryodracon boreas was not a predator of the skies, though. Despite its dragon-like appearance and intimidating size, it was more of a terrestrial stalker, using its long, stalk-like neck to snatch up small animals and baby dinosaurs from the ground. This discovery is significant not just because of the size and might of Cryodracon boreas, but because it adds another piece to the jigsaw puzzle of our planet's history. It offers a glimpse into the diversity of life that once flourished on Earth and the evolutionary paths that led to the creatures we know today. So, next time you're out and about, look up at the sky and imagine what it might have been like to see a creature like Cryodracon boreas soaring above. It's a humbling thought and one that underscores the sheer wonder of the natural world.
These nine incredible fossil finds demonstrate the astounding diversity and scale of prehistoric life. It's a humbling reminder of the grandeur of our planet's history.